You know what I like most about poinsettias? They're very difficult to kill. <laughs> it's true. You can have one, you can water it a couple of times. It'll last you for a couple of months. I'm here at Terra Greenhouses and Chris is joining me talking about some really unique stocking stuffers, gift ideas for pretty much anyone in your family, but most importantly, the plant lovers in your life. Let's start with the non-plant things. Let's talk about this man soap. Yes. I know a lot of men that need some man soap. <laughs> I do. Well, along Luke. with all the planty things that we do have, we do carry a great line of all sorts of different kinds of gifty things. So uh, fragrances and soaps are one of them. And the man bar is definitely one of the more popular items we carry. Mm. Um, a great size for a stocking stuffer, and it comes in a nice little leather uh, couch, which makes it nice and giftable. Oh yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. And then it just slides open, I guess. Oh no. Flip oh, it's there you go. Oh, that's yeah, so cute. Yeah, some nice natural fragrances made with essential oils. Um, mm. And that's just one of many of the lines. So in front of you also is Beekman 1802, which is a line uh, that's Canadian. And that's a really popular yes, one that we carry. Yes, this is gorgeous lotion. Lots of goat's milk and, yeah. and natural ingredients in that. Um, and then we've got the Kuchina line here by Fruits and Passion. Those are all available at our locations too and conveniently in like nice little gifty sets. Mm -hmm. So those are easy grab and go gifts for virtually anyone on yep. your list, even sure. if they're not planty people. Per yeah. Se. <laughs> okay, now uh, gardening gloves. I always, I have to buy like three or four pairs a year because I just go through them so quickly. Same, same girl. I've always got so many garden gloves on the go. So. Um, whether you're grabbing a singular item for something like a stocking stuffer for someone that you know is into gardening or building little collections of items for mm -hmm. someone who is into gardening. We've got stuff for both outdoor and indoor um, and things that you maybe wouldn't have thought of. Yeah. Um, I've got a water meter here, a moisture tester. Great idea. Okay. Is it a, an exciting gift? Probably not unless you're actually a plant person, but for a plant person. Yeah. Well, for anyone that has a plant, this is the you don't have to be a plant person thing. to have plants in your house. Well, that's it. We've got a whole generation of people who have not grown yeah. plants before. And something like a moisture tester or a water meter is like a best friend tool totally. if you're just getting into plant keeping. It's one of the easiest tools oh, to I've use. Oh, I've drowned so many plants. It's, it's an easy Oops. thing to do. Yeah. Why so are that's you a really handy thing to have for, for somebody as well. Yeah. Um, we've got specialty watering cans. So, you know, both with functional or with um, maybe more beautiful and fashionable Ooh. options like that for planty people. Um, large 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 collection of pottery um, so things to put plants in um, all Amazing. sorts of things for gifty people okay well we're gonna talk poinsettias and we're also going to be talking Christmas tree real or fake which side do you fall on more on that coming up Having a very educational morning here at Terra Greenhouses. I couldn't remember for the life of me what this plant was called, but it's amaryllis, Chris, and I'm guessing that it's probably gonna be white when it does eventually bloom. It is looking like this is a white amaryllis. They're yes. so pretty, and I love that they really only do bloom at this time of year, along with the Christmas cactus. So many different varieties of plants to give as gifts or maybe decorate for yourself. Absolutely. Uh, seasonal plants are sort of what we're all about, mm -hmm. obviously. So a uh, large range of holiday plants, and um, it's definitely something it's a good way to decorate for the holidays. Yeah. If you're not into, you know, glittery things or tinsely stuff, um, it's to add sort of minimal touches into your home with something that's alive and bringing mm -hmm. color and brightness into your space. There are so many wonderful ways to do it with all sorts of different things. What's this one called again? This guy is Anthurium. Anthurium. And uh, like, it's so awesome. It doesn't even look real. No, it, it looks, kind of looks, it looks like it's fake. made of plastic. Yeah. But it's one of the easiest plants to care for. So something like this with an Anthurium, a Cypress, um, these are easy gifts to grab and give to somebody or to set on the table before you're having an event. I love this. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. And you think, you know, a lot of work and hard work and effort goes into building these. 100%. To, to display them. I mean, we've got uh, some amazing designers on our teams and I've got to tell you in the last few weeks they just never stop planting. I bet. <laughs> Everything is always in creation. <laughs> um, we've also got the ability to customize so if you find a perfect plant that you absolutely love and you find a pot that you love mm. we can combine them together for you so that you don't have to get messy or dirty. Oh that's amazing. Um, to give a gift yeah. And this is such a cute gift so you kind of have it's very unique very one of a kind. We were talking about it before it's almost like a grab and go you're like oh no I'm going to this party tomorrow night and I don't have a gift and I don't 
don't really know them. I don't know what they like. I don't know if they drink red or white or, yes. you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, oh, I'll give them a plant. Everybody loves a plant. Everyone loves a plant, <laughs> for sure. So uh, lots of different plant combinations, different ways they've been put together, and a lot of varying price points as well. So we've got everything from like little teeny guys that are $9.99, yeah. perfect for a teacher gift. Totally. Um, up to full elaborate things that you can use as a, as a huge show-stopping centerpiece. Mm -hmm. This one, for example, is gorgeous. Now, I don't think you would use that as a centerpiece necessarily, but depending on the size of your room, or you yeah, can, yeah, you could certainly place it somewhere. Coming into a home in a foyer, something like that, yeah. definitely a large statement piece for sure. Um, along with traditional, regular plants as well, we've got our, our specialty line of different things like, um, this is a new variety of points out of this year called Christmas Mouse. Oh, it's with so cute. rounded yeah. bracts. Um, so lots of different unique, interesting options to find right. for sure. Okay, well, thanks so much, Chris. This has been an educational experience for me for sure. Now that I know the name of this, I'm gonna have to get one for this year, Amaryllis, Amaryllis. Uh, much more to come on Morning Live. I'm here at Terra Greenhouses checking out their amazing selection of fresh trees. And Chris, one of the misconceptions that people have about getting a real tree versus a fake, they say, oh, I don't want to get a real tree because I don't want to cut it down out of the forest. It's bad for the environment. Right. It's a common misconception. And I get it. It feels counterintuitive maybe to cut kind down a tree of, for yeah. a holiday. But uh, the interesting thing is, is that Ontario fresh cut trees are a cultivated crop, just like any other grown crop okay. specifically for Christmas. Um, and it's one of the most sustainable crops out there. Mm -hmm. So it takes 10 to 12 years for a tree to get to full size, which means for every one tree that we cut down, there are 10 more growing behind it. So oh. um, people who farm trees for a living make sure that they got a whole succession planned. Yeah. Um, so it's actually one of the, the more environmentally friendly crops out there. Gorgeous, yeah. all of them are. But there's three different kinds. If I'm new to buying a real Christmas tree, some people have fake and then they decide to switch over or vice versa. Yep. Uh, which is the best one for ornaments? Because I am a big ornament girl, I have so many. Yeah, there's definitely different pros and cons to each kind of fresh cut tree. We are looking at balsam right here, balsam fir. Um, long time, number one fresh cut type of tree, mostly because it's the most fragrant. It is so mm, fragrant in the house. That it's got smell. that lovely fir, almost mm -hmm. a bit of a citrusy smell. Mm -hmm. Um, and just fills the entire air with fragrance. So it's got nice soft needles, good, relatively strong branching for hanging and ornaments. And it's usually proportioned, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. There's different heights and sizes and types that you can get, but balsam is definitely good for someone who collects lots of ornaments. Okay, that's my kind of treat. Now this tree, <laughs> I feel like, the, ow! Yes, <laughs> yes. Unlike balsam, um, the ornaments this wouldn't is, hang very well. No, well, sometimes yes and sometimes no. But this is yeah, Scotch pine. It is sort of an OG tree. So if you want that like rustic, old school kind of retro look, if you're going mm. for like a mid-century modern styling in your home, which is very popular right now, yeah, super this might be the way you go. Uh, it's got the long needles. It is sharp, which makes it a little bit yeah. trickier to decorate. And, and like with kids, I'm just thinking. Ooh. And like you <laughs> mentioned, it's very dense. Yeah. So if you've got a huge ornament collection, it can be hard to display a ton of ornaments on scotch pine but on the other side if you are a relatively minimalist or you want sort of an earthy look and mm -hmm. you just want to throw up a few lights and a handful of decorations it looks amazing yeah. with or like match. popcorn or orange slices or something all like that. of those things yeah for sure now this one looks pretty common this is like you this know is, yes this, this is, is one that everyone has <laughs> razor fur and you'll notice in in contrast with the other ones as well it's got kind of a bluish tone mm -hmm. to it it's because the undersides have a silver striping oh. um, and Fraser fur has become the number one one fresh cut Christmas tree um, as far as Ontario and most of Canada is concerned uh, for a couple of reasons. As you mentioned, if you've got a large ornament collection, yeah. they tend to have very stiff, very spacious branches, mm -hmm. so it's easier to hang ornaments on there and they hold on to their needles for a nice long time, three to four weeks. All right, well the fir tree looks like it's, uh, what's it called? The Douglas fir? Fraser fir. Fraser fir, I'm getting yeah. my... My name's mixed up. All right, we're gonna talk uh, lots more coming up. Poinsettias, gifts, all sorts of fun here this morning at Terra Greenhouses. Now, if you live in a really small space, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people live in condos, they live in apartments, there's a lot of retirement homes that yeah. you can't necessarily fit a full-size Christmas tree in. So you have so many great options here of what you can do instead, and I didn't even think of half of them. For sure. Uh, for a lot of people, a full-size Christmas tree might not be a practical option. Uh, sometimes it's space, sometimes it's uh, cats or something along those oh, lines yes. where you might need something <laughs> smaller or yeah. more contained. Um, and there are lots of ways to have a Christmas tree and not missing out on that fun mm -hmm. without having a huge Christmas tree for I, sure. I feel like so many people have these plants in their apartments or homes or anything 
anyways. Yeah, so sometimes, yeah. The one that um, is right in front of us, and there's a larger version here, is called Norfolk Island Pine. So that's one of the most popular Christmas tree alternatives on the market. It is actually a tropical plant. Mm -hmm. um, so something we get asked often is, um, can I buy this and put it on my porch? No, please don't do that. It is a tropical <laughs> plant. Even inside, it needs to be warm. But the good thing is, it can last for months and months and months on end, even years, if, if well cared for. So it is basically a, a tropical house plant that you can use and even decorate seasonally for the holiday. Yeah, that's so cute. And these little tiny ones, what are these ones all these about? These are called cypress. Same kind of idea. It is sort of a tropical, semi-evergreen. Um, they come in this bright lime color as well, as well as a dark green color. Yeah, this We've one doesn't them. even look alive. Isn't it? crazy so it's That's flocked so which is very trendy this year uh, but it is alive and uh, you can again decorate them we've got some available with super little lights cute. little baubles on them so they're perfect for tabletop as well yeah do you sell them with the decorations already attached we do we have them both with decorations and lights attached or on their own um, so beside you is a dwarf uh, Alberta spruce um, so this is part of our potted super porch cute. tree program so we've got oh, these ones you yes. can put outside okay. um, so those can go outside as a decoration or could live inside for short term and then go back outside and can even be planted into the garden for enjoyment in your landscape later. Really? Mm -hmm. What a great idea. Yeah. So people are becoming a little bit more sustainable, a little bit more environmentally friendly. For sure. And again, if you have an option like this, you don't have to go out and feel like you're cutting down a tree, even <laughs> though we learned earlier that they are produced for exactly that right. at a tree farm. Well, some great ideas. I've had such a good time here. Thanks so much, Chris. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. We always love having you here at, at Terra. Thank make, you. Make sure you go out and get yourself a beautiful Christmas tree. They are selling fast.